What's going on guys, Marina Fisher here with Fishy15.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can jailbreak and install Cydia on your device running iOS 6 Beta 1. So this will work for all the betas that come out for iOS 6 but I'm currently doing this on Beta 1 and um, this will only work on A4 devices so it will not work to jailbreak your iPhone 4S or your new iPad yet. And this is just an SSH jailbreak so Cydia will not be installed by doing this but later in the video I'll be showing you how you can actually install Cydia on iOS 6 Beta 1. Not everything is compatible with Cydia yet, or with 6.0 I should say, but um, just make sure you um, look it up on Google if it's compatible before you go ahead and download it, or you might have to restore. So as you can see I am on iOS 6, you have the Passbooks application there. If we go to settings, um, you can see the do not disturb, the difference in the settings, um, if we go to about, you can see it's on version 6.0. So I am running iOS 6 here, and it's very simple to jailbreak. We're going to need the um, iOS 6 firmware, so just put that in a folder or put it on your desktop. I'm going to be jailbreaking my iPhone 4 on 6.0, and you're going to need Red Snow 0.9.13 Developer 1, or whichever um, whichever uh, application is out. There might be a different update, so it might say something different, but links will be in the description below. So to jailbreak this, basically click Extras, Click select IPSW and then find your firmware. You're only going to need to do this once if you're going to plan on restore, jailbreak, and stuff like that. But just click on your 6.0 firmware, click OK, click back, and now click jailbreak. Let it do its stuff here. It will just prepare the jailbreak data, which it tells you right there it's doing. So just let that finish here. And now again, this is an SSH jailbreak, so just click install SSH and go ahead and click next. Now you're going to need to shut off your device. Just hold the power button down. Wait for it to slide the power off to show up. Slide the power off there. <clears throat> Wait for it to power down and then the next button should become clickable when it's fully powered off. As right there. And now I would recommend just watching what I do here first if this is your first time jailbreaking. Um, because this is kind of tricky and you need to get the steps on exact and then I would go back and watch it and then do it again by yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and click next and have my finger ready on the power button. Click next, hold down the power button for three seconds. Without releasing the power button, also hold down the home button for ten seconds. Now without releasing the home button, release the power button here, but keep holding the home button for 15 seconds and it should start jailbreaking for you and go ahead and release the home button here and then everything else should take place on your computer and on your iPhone alright now I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward through this process because it does take quite a while Alright guys, and as you can see, we've actually powered up our device, but you won't see anything on the springboard, you won't have Cydia or anything. The only thing installed is SSH. So now you'll need to open up your SSH client if you want to install Cydia. In my case, I'm using Coda on my Mac, and on my Windows, I would be using WinSCP, but you guys can use anything you want here. Go up to your terminal, you'll need to log in here. Go to your settings to find your server. This is basically just your IP address. Click the blue arrow and then your IP address is right there, minus 192.168.254.8. Our port is 22, our username is root, R-O-O-T, password is A-L-P-I-N-E, Alpine. Go ahead and click connect here, and now you're in your device. Now you're going to need to put a command in here. I'll have this in the description, so just be sure to just copy it and then paste it. I pasted it right there. Go ahead and hit return, and it will download your packages and just wait and everything should take place on your computer now. Um, um, it'll say permission denied right here, don't pay attention to that, it should work. Basically what this is doing is just transferring all the files from your computer um, and this repo onto your device and it will install Cydia. Now on your device here in just a second, it should re um, respring automatically. As you can see right here, we've got the Apple logo on the respring, so that's new. Um, don't know where that came from, but as you can see, 
it has resprung. And if we go all the way over, we've got Cydia installed. So this is a tethered um, jailbreak, guys, um, which means you will actually need to plug in your device every time it powers off and boot it up with Red Snow. So I really hope this helped. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Um, if you have any errors um, logging in with SSH, um, that's probably due to you have beta 1. Um, there was just a new beta released. I've actually I took this video and split it in two, and I actually used this to get the beta 2 to jailbreak my device again because beta 1 had an error. It had a bug that wouldn't actually install SSH when you jailbroke. But beta 2 installs it and fixes the bug. So make sure you update to the latest Red Snow. And that's basically it, guys. If you guys like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button below. Subscribe to my channel for new videos and all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace.